Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm gonna help you remove text before or after I specific character in Excel. Here I have taken a list of cities with their corresponding country names where each of the city and the country names are separated by underscore signs. So first of all I'm gonna use the find and replace feature to remove text after the underscore sign here. So to begin with first you need to select the text then go to the home tab in the editing group click on the find and select drop down here then hit the replace button to open the find and replace dialog box you can also press ctrl plus h to open the find and replace dialog box then in the find word box insert an asterisk sign followed by an underscore sign where the asterisk sign is a wildcard symbol which tells Whatever text precedes the underscore sign, Excel is gonna select that. Now leave the replace with box blank, then just hit the replace all button. Now a small dialog box appears which says all done, we made 9 replacements. Hit the OK button. Now check all the text before the underscore sign has removed along with the underscore sign itself. Now I'm going to show you to remove text after the underscore sign here. So for that again here click on the find and select drop down then click on the replace button to open the find and replace dialog box. Now here previously we have inserted the asterisk sign before the underscore sign but this time as we want to remove text after the underscore sign we have to alter the position of the asterisk sign here so instead of inserting asterisk before the underscore sign we are going to insert it after the underscore sign so this means it's gonna select all the text after the underscore sign here now again leave the replace with box blank and hit the replace all button here so again it shows all done we made nine replacements just hit the ok button and check it has removed all the text after the underscore sign here so just hit the close button here to close the find and replace dialog box and you are okay with that and that's it So now I'm going to show you two formulas to remove text before or after a specific character in Excel. So in this case, our specific character is the underscore sign here. So first I'm gonna show you to remove text after the underscore sign. So first of all, I'm gonna show you different sections of the main formula so that you can get all the basic by uh, before jumping into the main formula. First of all, we need to find out the location of the underscore sign here so for this purpose i'm going to use the find function so i'm going to type the find function then we need to insert find text where in this case find text is the underscore sign itself so i'm going to specify the underscore sign inside quotation mark then within text within text means a uh, cell a2 here so uh, next i'm gonna leave the start number so if i don't mention any start number uh, the find function is gonna start the searching from the beginning of the text in cell 2 so i'm gonna press enter button and it returns six this means the underscore sign is the sixth character within this text so now i'm gonna use another function uh, left function uh, this left function if I specify a specific number of characters it will extract those number of characters from the left side of the text that I will specify well uh, it might sound complex but let me show you so inside the left function first we need to specify the text where the text is on the cell cell a2 the number of characters number of characters we have just calculated which is six uh, in cell c2 here so i'm gonna add it here and that's pretty much it i'm gonna hit the enter button and it returns paris with the underscore itself so our primary goal was to remove all the text after the underscore sign so this formula actually returns paris along with the underscore sign here 
So if we also rem uh, want to remove the underscore sign, we just need to subtract one from the output of cell C2. If I press enter, it just returns Paris. So I think you have got the basic of removing text using the find and the left function. So now I'm gonna clear them all and merge them all together and create one single formula. So let me just clear it. Now start with the left function, then just mention the text here, which is cell A2, the number of characters. Uh, for that, I'm gonna use the find function again. So uh, we have to specify the find text, which is underscore inside a quotation mark, then within text. Within text is, of course, cell A2 again. Then I'm gonna uh, leave the start number so that it starts from the beginning. So I'm gonna I insert a closing parenthesis then as i also want to remove the underscore sign itself so i'm gonna subtract one to the find function finally i'm gonna insert another closing parenthesis and the formula is pretty much it so this is the final formula that you will remove text after the underscore sign along with the underscore sign itself so i'm gonna press the enter button and it returns Paris only. So now I'm gonna copy down the formula and this is actually the required result that we were looking for. So this time I'm going to show you another formula to remove text before the underscore sign. So again I'm going to show you all the parts of the main formula so that you can actually get the basic later i'm gonna merge all the sections and build one single formula so again i'm going to use the find function uh, to locate the position of the underscore sign so find text is basically the underscore sign that we are going to uh, look for then within text is cell a2 here then i'm going to press the enter button and it returns six now I'm going to uh, use the len function to calculate the total number of characters present in the text in cell A2 here. Uh, I press enter and it returns 12. So now we are going to calculate the number of characters after the underscore sign so that we can actually extract all these characters. So for that we have to subtract 6 from 12. So I'm just doing that. 12 minus 6 I press enter and I get 6 this means there are 6 characters after the underscore sign in cell A2 so finally I'm going to use one last function which is of course the right function uh, here the right function is asking for text to insert with cell A2 the number of characters it's 6 so this means that the right function will extract the six characters from the right side of the text in cell a2 so i'm gonna press the enter button and i get france this means uh, our this process has removed all the text before the underscore sign along with the underscore sign itself so i think you have get the basic idea behind the formula concept now i'm going to remove them all and merge them all together to build one single master formula so let's begin with the write function uh, it requires the text which is cell a2 the number of characters i'm going to use the length function to count the total number of characters here then i'm going to use the find function to find the location of the underscore sign within text a2 and i'm gonna use two parentheses to complete the formula so this is the final formula this will remove all the text before the underscore sign along with the underscore sign itself so i'm gonna press the enter button and i get france so now i'm gonna copy down the formula using the fill handle and that's pretty much it so this is how you can combine the right len and find functions to remove text before a specific character which in this particular case uh, underscore sign 
So this is all for this video tutorial. See you guys again in another video tutorial.